Uh, hello, Booktube. I thought I'd make a video. It is a Saturday night. It is March the 11th, 2017. Well, it's really 1014 since we're going to lose an hour tonight because uh, is it daylight savings time? I don't know. But what I want to do is, I'm not going to show my diary here because it's put away for the night and I don't want to drag it out. I just want to mention the used books and books I've got in the mail last couple of days. Uh, the last thing I got in the mail is I, I've been mentioning I've been reading Frog by Stephen Dixon. Uh, I'm on page 185. There's 769 pages in this. Uh, I really like this Stephen Dixon, and I mentioned that I'm I'm starting buying Stephen Dixon's works, and I got another one in the mail the other day, the stories of Stephen Dixon. I read a couple of these stories since I got this. Uh, really like them. I also got in the mail to finish my. Hunter S. Thompson collection, Hell's Angels, Strange and Terrible Saga by Hunter S. Thompson. Uh, as far as what else I've been reading, uh, I've, today is Saturday is when I, I uh, volunteer at the local library used bookstore and when I was there today from 10 to 1 I was reading I've been reading this. I got this at a thrift store this week. I found it for 51 cents. This is a biography on John Maylard Kinsey. Kinsey? 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 This is 1883 to 1946. The economist, philosopher, and statesman, Ryan Robert Skinsky. Skinsky? So I was reading that. And I got today for my free book for volunteering I got Hag Seed a retelling of the story the Hag Seed the Tempest retold by Margaret Atwood this is my free book for volunteering uh, so I got that and I bought this book for a dollar fifty it's called Midnight at the Parade Palace the Birth of Modern Istanbul by Charles King. It says here, Istanbul between the wars, the hub of modern cosmetologism at the heart of the Islamic world, spies, jazz dancers, revolutionaries, beauty queens, and diplomats all piled, plied their trades while multi-ethnic Ottoman Empire transformed itself into a Turkish Republic. Istanbul remained a global crosswords, hosting Russian exiles, Jewish refugees, larger-than-life figures such as Masafat Kima, Art Turk, Leo Trotsky, the future Pope John the Twenty-Third, and Muslim feminists Hayid Ipit, scrupulously. Uh, Scrumptiously researched, elegantly written, this kaleidoscopic portrait is also a modern parable of the perils of nationalism. So I got that today. So I've been reading uh, Robert Lowell, Setting the River on Fire, A Study of Genius, Mania, and Character by K. Rance Redfield Jameson. As far as the used books I got at thrift stores last week, I picked up Under the Black Flag, The Romantic Reality of Life Among the Pirates by David Cordingly. You know, I don't think I have any books on pirates. So you can see pictures of pirates here. And, uh, so it's all about pirates, pirate ships. So I got that. And I found this book by David McCulloch on the Wright Brothers. The, uh, see there's that famous photo of the Wright Brothers. 
and their historical flight. David McCulloch, he's written a lot of bio, uh, history books. I have almost all of them. He wrote a biography on Truman, a biography on John Adams, uh, the Jonestown Flood, the Great Bridge, the Great Journey. You know, I have all of them in our library. So I found that at a thrift store. And I found uh, this little uh, Walt Whitman selected with introduction notes by Leslie A. A. Filler. Filder. This is just little selections. I thought I'd just throw it in the back of my van. I have a bunch of books in my old van. And, and certain I want to read Whitman, I have them. And I found an abridged The Life of Samuel Johnson by James Boswell. This is an abridged. I have the, the complete hard back edition down in the lower level but this is only a quarter it was from the modern library I just so I just bought it uh, this is by Thomas Pynchon crying of lot 49 uh, if I see any of his books I buy them I have tons of these I like the cover of the I think I have a cover of this one but it was only a quarter and I found, uh, you know, I collect the writings of Edna, Edna O'Brien. This is her novel, Light of Evening. I didn't, I didn't have this one in our library. And then I found another Mary Renault, Bull from the Sea, which I didn't have. I collect her writings. Uh, I have almost all of them except for a couple. But I was really pleased to find this one. Then I found an, a book by Joseph Heller who wrote uh, Catch-22. This is Catch as Catch Can, the collected stories and, and other writings by Joseph Heller. I didn't have this in my collection. Uh, it's published stories and unpublished stories. Uh, here in the back on Catch-22, Joseph Heller talks about Catch-22. Uh, just all kinds of... So there's a picture when he's older. And I mentioned I just recently bought, used a novel by Jerome Charnow. This is his One-Eyed Johnny. This is a historical fiction on the Revolu American Revolutionary War. And then I found this Historical Houses of Britain, the National Trust Historical Houses of Britain by Adrian Tenzelwood. I collect books on English country houses, things like that. Uh, I like the history. Uh, you know, I like the uh, you know, pictures of inside these houses and You know, I just things like that. It's only it's only fifty cents. You know, I like the history of country historical houses of Britain. So yeah, I got that. And then I bought uh, the Oxford Companion: American Military History. I like these Oxford Companions. I have a bunch of them. Uh, I didn't have this one. Yeah, it says, uh, it's all about, you know, you can look up battles and you can look up all kinds of things on the Navy, the Army, the Monroe Doctrine, Mexican War. Uh, here's that George Kenyon, you know, I just showed you the night that I read my favorite book for 2012 was the biography of George E. Kenyon. Kenyon. Uh, when this was written, he was still still living, still alive. This came out in it says 1999. So I don't know. He must have just recently. I thought he died. He yeah, had on Grant Ulysses Grant. The Grand Army of the Republic. It's just all kinds of things in here. The laws of war. 
Reconstruction, Persian Gulf War, Peace, Native Americans in the military. So I got that. So those are the things I got at thrift stores, things I got in the mail, things I'm reading. Uh, tomorrow is a Sunday, start a new week. There's a uh, book sale Tuesday, this next week Tuesday, a, a library, a library used book sale I plan to go to. So yeah, I got books coming in the mail next week. and So that's what's going on here in my book world. Uh, like I said, I've really been re getting into this. I like reading about uh, British life, turn of the century. He was also, uh, there's a picture in here of Maylard Keynes with Virginia Woolf right there. He was part of the he was part of the Bloomsbury group. So you can see paintings and so I've been reading this. And I was glad to finish my uh, Hunter S. Thompson collection, The Hell's Angels. And like I said, I've been reading the stories of Stephen Dixon. I got another of his book coming in the mail. His novel, Myers, is coming in the mail. And I've been reading Frog by Stephen Dixon. So that's what's going on here in my book world. And so, yeah, so I thought I'd just... I wanted to get these things down the lower level, get them out of the, li the living room, put them down and get them out of the way, make room for more books for next week. So yeah, so thank you for the, the comments. Thank you for the subscribers and do hope you have a good week as we go into the middle of the month. Until next time, bye.